In our new Courageous Conversation series here on Ozarks Fox, what does self-help look like these days? What does it look like to have a courageous conversation with yourself? I talked to a few people here in Springfield who are creating spaces for people to work on personal development and celebrate self-growth. There didn't seem to be much offered in Springfield towards preventative and towards maximizing potential. So Kate Alsup and her colleagues started a group called the Bravery Board. We wanted to find out what would it look like to create an organization that found people where they were, thriving, functional, and maximize that potential. The group meets quarterly, tackling a variety of topics, relationships, privilege, owning your story, and finding value in your own experience. It's hard to define our topics sometimes. Yeah. To reach beyond their meeting room at Eurasia Cafe, Additional talks are also put on a podcast every month. Welcome to the Bravery Board podcast. We've talked We're about the multiple roles that we all manage and how to juggle those. Uh, we don't use the word balance anymore because <laughs> that's not possible. But what it's like to juggle multiple ro roles as a parent and a professional and a friend. And that's kind of the same idea with another podcast I found that's also created right here in Springfield. It's Hustle and Harmony. And they also ditch the idea of finding balance. Their philosophy is we all have different buckets in our lives. It's just a matter of how full you want to keep each of them. Where do you want each of these and where do you want to be put that intensity and tension on? Um, towards. But you, first, you've got to identify what you want life to look like. Colby Callwhite and Sean Hall are the co founders and co hosts of Hustle and Harmony. So, what's it going to be? One day or day one? A lot of the topics we talk about on the podcast are things that we personally needed to figure out ourselves. For example, meditation. That could help reduce stress or anxiety or whatever it may be. And so I did that exploration and Sean did that exploration. And then once we kind of got our, our mind wrapped around it and we could talk about how that helped us. Here to elevate your hustle game. Paul says the knowledge and inspiration he's found through podcasts and other ways have helped to shape him not just in his personal life, but professionally as well. I wouldn't be near as far if I was just trying to reinvent the wheel every single time. Like, I'm listening to people that I kind of want to aspire to be, and they're sharing their lessons learned, and it's just been an accelerator for, for everything. For Alsup, an avid listener herself, podcasts have been eye-opening. Have opened uh, my ears up to a much wider um, experience than I have for myself in Springfield, Missouri. They say when it comes to personal development, there's no right way to begin. I think the most important thing is just starting. But in the end, self-growth is more than just about you. It's a bucket. If I'm not the best version of myself, that means that I'm not going to be able to put the, um, help others be the best version of themselves. So. That inevitably spills over. There's definitely a lot you can take away from that story. Uh, I like how they talked about different buckets and you have different yes. ones for different aspects of your life and it can change like what you want to put your influence or your uh your time into week by week that changes as you go. Absolutely, and as you grow as a person too, you know, depending your age and what your priorities are. So I thought that was really interesting. And they talk about uh, intensity and intention. So different buckets. You know, which one are you putting intention into and intensity this week, and that can change either this week or in a month or whatever that may be for whatever you're going through at that time. Definitely, great reporting.